Hi, it's Hannah from the Wizzy Customer Success Team. Today we're going to talk about three features of the Wizzy EMM console that can help you quickly set up and enroll devices. Let's start. First, make sure you are in the login page of the console URL unique to your organization. For this example, I'm using my company Health Options. Click Login and Login with your credentials. Welcome to the console. Let's go through the three sections I mentioned earlier, starting with Application Management. You want to choose which applications will be available for your profile, use cases, or devices. It can be a public application, one that is already available in the Google Play Store. Let's say you want to install Consult by Doc. Click Select and OK and this should be added to your managed applications. Or a private application, one that is specific to your company or organization, by clicking the plus button on the lower right side, right here, designating a title and uploading an APK, click Create, and the app should be part of your managed applications then. You can also add a web application and a system application from here. Now everything that you've added will appear in your Manage Applications tab right here. Notice that Consult by Doc is already added to the list of applications available in my Managed Application tab. Now we're ready to move to creating a profile by clicking Profile Management. You can click the blue Create button right here to start. Designate a name for your profile and you can create profiles as much as the number of use cases you have. Here, I'll create Support. As you can see, this will be my third profile already. Now you see that we have four tabs available here. These are the policies auto-set by Google. You can configure them however you want to. Here is where you indicate which applications you'd like to have in this particular profile. Remember that we've already added applications that will be available for your console, so this is where you'll add them. Click the blue Choose Applications button right here. Then just tick the box of whichever applications you want to see in this profile, and then click OK. So let's say for this profile, I want to see Consult by Doc available. I want the user to also have access to Gmail access to the Medical Dictionary by Farlex. As you notice, we have all the three applications added to this particular profile. You can also indicate the installation type for each particular application right here. If there are configurations set for that particular application, you can click the Configurations hyperlink to set it up. Don't forget to click Submit once you make any changes. You can also set up additional configurations particular to the device right here. And lastly, your enrollment configuration file can be found on this page. Currently, there are four different ways to enroll your devices. We have Zero Touch, QR Code, NFC, and EMM Token. We have a separate video for each, but in this demo, I'll show you how easy the Zero Touch enrollment is shortly. Once you're done setting up everything on this profile, you can go ahead and click Save. There you go. Now your profile is updated and ready. Let's move to the last feature we have, which is the fleet management. By clicking Device List, you will see all the devices you have enrolled to this console. For this particular example, I only have one device enrolled for now. And you can see to which profile it is currently enrolled to. From this view, you can also apply actions to a particular device by ticking the checkbox. As you notice, the Actions drop-down menu will be available here. These are some of the actions that you can do on that particular device. If you want a more granular view of the device information, applications installed, or the logs of the applications installed in a particular device, you can click the hyperlink to the device here and you will see all those information.
And of course, from this view, you can also change the profile of this particular device. And you can also choose the actions that I also showed earlier from here. And of course, if you feel that you need to wipe all the information in this particular device in a given circumstance, you can also click this button right here. Now let's assume this device is enrolled in my Zero Touch portal and I've assigned my support profile to it as well. Let's see how quick and easy it'll be to have this device ready to use. There you go, that's how quick and easy it is to set up and enroll devices on your Wizzy EMM console. If you have questions or need further assistance, please don't hesitate to click the link from the description box below and your customer success team will gladly help you out. Thank you and welcome aboard!